In this work, we are going to explain a complete method to obtain culture and transfer mouse blastocysts non-surgically in order to study implantation and development. In the context of this work, it is important to note that implantation is an essential step in human reproduction. Little is known about human implantation and subsequent early development because of technical and ethical considerations. The mouse model is well established and can be used for preliminary experiments. There are several bottlenecks in the procedure for obtaining and transferring embryos, such as pseudopregnancy, ovarian stimulation, embryo collection and culture, and surgical methods for embryo transfer. In this presentation, we will talk about the following procedures. Ovarian stimulation, pseudopregnancy, mating, embryo collection and culture, and in surgical embryo transfer. Before starting, please remember to work using the correct safety measures and to obtain permission to do animal experiments from your institutional review board. We will summarize the step-by-step -step workflow of this procedure. The donor mouse and recipient female mouse protocols are performed in parallel in the same week. Monday starts with the donor mice. They are ovarian stimulated with 10 units of pregnant mare serum gonadotropin. The stock is prepared with 100 units per milliliter and 100 microliters per mouse should be injected. Take the female mouse by the tail and the scrub of the neck and hold it in an almost vertical position to displace the organs. Intraperitoneally inject 100 microliters of the pregnant mare serum gonadotropin hormone. Also on Monday, put some of the sodas from the male's cage into the female's cage in order to induce synchrony in the estro cycle. Two days later on Wednesday, the procedure consists in the ovulation induction and mating. Ovulation is induced by intraperitoneal injection of 10 units of human coronic gonadotropin. The same procedure from Monday is repeated. It's important to use young males for mating with one or two females per male. On Thursday, we only need to work with the recipient mice. They should be placed into cage with vasectomized males, preferably in the evening. It's important to delay the recipient mice cycles by one day with respect to the donor mice. The next day, early morning, we will look for the vagina plug in the recipient mice. This plug is characterized by the presence of a white secretion in the vagina. Mice with and without vagina plugs must be separated. We will only use those with a plug as recipients. The donor mice will be sacrificed on the same day. For sacrifice, we need a piece of polystyrene, forceps, scissors, a petri dish, needles, and PBS. After cervical dislocation, the mice are placed face up. Make an abdominal cut to expose the organs using the scissors and forceps. We will look for the uterus and together with the ovaries, they will be dissected and placed in PBS ready to flush the embers out. To collect the embers, we will need a dissection microscope, pipettes, PBS, syringe, scalpels, petri dishes, forceps, co-culture media, needles, a four-wall plate, and a hot plate set to 37 degrees. Firstly, smooth out the end of a 0.3 mm needle on a clean surface to facilitate penetration of the abduct. The ovary and the uterine horn must be removed in order to work only with the abduct. Trying not to damage the abduct during the process. First, remove the ovary and then continue with the uterine horn. Then, take the ovidute with the forceps and remove the adipose and connective tissue with a scalpel so that the ovidute can be extended. 
Both extremes should be sectioned and use the wider size to introduce the needle and flush 200 to 300 microliters of PBS. The 1.5 day embryos added 2 to 4 cell stage will be floating in the flush PBS and must be collected. Put the embryos in a culture medium and place them in an incubator with 5% carbon dioxide at 37 degrees until Monday. For embryo transfer, there are two main methods that are suitable surgical and non surgical. The surgical method requires anesthesia, is more complex, stressful and painful for animals, although embryo can be transferred at early stage. Non-surgical method is an easier option that has been proven to generate similar results, and this is the option that will be explained in this video. On Monday, the hatching embryos are at 4.5 days of development and they should be transferred using an unsurgical embryo transfer system commercialized by Paratech. A small speculum is introduced into the vagina of the recipient mice and 10 to 15 embryos are taken up into a transfer pipette in 2 microliters of their culture media. The tip of the pipette is then fully introduced via the speculum and the embers are released into one of the uterine horns. Finally, the mice are returned to their cage and the pregnancy is allowed to progress. Optionally, if you want to assess 7.5 day developing embers, you should sacrifice the mice on Thursday. First, inject 1% of Chicago Sky Blue 6B regent into the tail vein. To better visualize the vein, carefully warm the mouse tail using a lamp. Inject 100 microliters of the Chicago Sky Blue 6B region. Sacrifice the animals as previously described to see implantation sites. You can also individually dissect each one to observe embers with their ectoplacental cone. If you need more information, the following material may be useful. Thanks for your attention.